But brethren, if you jump into Isaiah 54, verse 17, no weapon forged against you shall, shall prosper, and you refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. We sing so much of our daily routine. We sing so much of our, of our everyday lives. But we, we, when we come into a time, an intense moment, we, we always say, God, what now? God, what do I do? And some of us have been going through health issues. Some of us are going through painstaking big testimonies. Yes. But brethren, as we move into the healing, we are healed. Yes. We go into this time. For you are a chosen people, First Peter chapter 2, verse 9 tells us. Amen. A royal priesthood, a holy nation, yes, a yes. people belonging to God, that you may declare and praise Him who called you out of His darkness into His Amen. wonderful light. Yes, Once yes. you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. And once you have received mercy, now, but now you have received mercy. Let's jump a few scriptures ahead of that. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Amen. So you may have been rejected. You may have been forgotten. But as you move closer into the, into the Lord's army, move closer and deeper and deeper into His grace, God's never forgotten you. Amen. For you are healed. The difference of a healing and being made whole, as a woman of affliction said in her, her testimony in the scriptures, that her blood disorder not only was healed, but anything that was inside of her that needed to be made whole was made whole on an instant. On an instant. Mm -hmm. So you have a very black void, dark void in, in yourself from your childhood, from being abused, from drug addiction, to alcoholism, to, to addictions of sex, pornography. You are healed. But you need to be made whole. And what, you, what we say of being made whole Thank you, Jesus. is that it, it comes instantly. Healing is a process, but going back to any addictions you have, mm -hmm. that empty black door, void, dark void, whatever you wish to say, is, is, brethren, in an instant you are made whole. That void is, is covered by the blood of Jesus, and we are baptized mm -hmm. by His loving teardrops, by His loving words. And as we sing to His love and we sing to His truth and we sing of His glory, we go on and on and on. We sing, brethren. Amen. How much more do we need to say? How much more do we need to express? And it is by this time, it is by this love, it is by this moment that we have in all of our lives, yes, Lord. that we need the wholeness. We need that forgiveness. We need to be made true unto the light of the Lord and of His whispers of His wind. Yes, Lord. Thank you. For the eyes of the heart see what is ahead of you in the name of Jesus Christ. But if we sway to sin, we're looking at sin. If we move into the glory of God, we are seeing that light of the Lord in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. Come into his time, brethren. I've been involved with creative arts for several, several decades. It can be, it can be 
a challenging occupation. But when I was also called into ministry some 20 plus years ago, God, this is what God to me, God did to me, and He can do this to you. Psalms 1 and 3. He is like a tree planted by our streams of water, mm, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prosper. But the wicked is like a chaff. That when the wind blows, therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment. Yes, yes. You will stand, but the wicked will not. And again, Amen. you you will refute, rebuke, refute those that accuse you by just standing on the word of God. Standing on the word of God. We sing, brethren, that yes. You see, when we when we are going to be healed, we have to realize we are healed. Yes. Amen. But as we move closer and closer to our dreams coming true, closer and closer to to that faith of the of the blessings of God and go out and do his works, every obstacle will be thrown against you. Yes. Every distraction will be thrown against you. Every audition will you'll be discouraged to go to. But know that you have that talent. You have that moment. And this is your time. You own it. Claim it. Claim it. Amen. In Jesus' name that you have this ownership going for you. Right now, in Jesus' matchless name. In Jesus' name. So every so you will just let the Lord push back every obstacle that's coming, and and you just stand still on the Word of God. We must get ourselves into a faith-based Bible-believing church. Yes. Yes. Midweek Bible study, Sunday service of the saints, and fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. Yes. In Jesus' matchless name. We are going to make a noise. We are going to be very, very, very loud about it. Yes. Because when we come into, mon into money, we go, thank you, Jesus. Yes. When we come into that new, new show, that new audition, that new praise, that new, that new, car, apartment, going from one room to a townhouse. We scream out loud, thank you, Jesus. Because we have, we are already healed. Mm -hmm. And you are of that royal priesthood. You are born into royalty. So go into this time. Go into his flow, his endless flame of his love. Let's seek his truth and seek his love forevermore. And go. But the Lord will set you apart from everyone else. Go. And seek of his time and seek of his love and seek of his truth. Go. For you, as you stay in tune, as a tuning fork to the word of God, mm -hmm. your presence alone will be an instrument of grace. Mm -hmm. You're, by grace, are you saved? For you, brethren, are that tree planted by the streams of water who seek and who are growing much beautiful fruit, who yields fruit in season, and who and whose leaf does not wither. You will not wither away. Amen. What's ever he does prosper. You are prospering. Claim that you are millionaire. Claim, do not say that you are poor. You, don't speak what you are. Don't speak what is coming. Amen. But speak that holy praise and that, whole, and that blessed confidence. You are the walk of fame. You are the billionaire, millionaire living on Hollywood Hills. You are an instrument of the tree and the living word of God. You have that grace 
and you have that truth. Amen. In Jesus' matchless name. In Jesus' name. Brethren, this is the time of our broadcast that we ask those who don't know Christ to come and really make that tuning fork your time. To move into his embrace, to move into his love, and to seek and to guide forevermore. In Jesus' name, do your best to repeat this after me. Dear Lord, I know I am a sinner and I lay myself on the altar for you, O Lord. I acknowledge that you are the Son of God who came down to this earth to be born in humble birth, to preach as a child, to die for our sin sins, and to rise so that we could have that eternal life. But you are coming back as a king. Yes. And I wish to be part of your royal family. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You are the king of glory. Hmm. You are the king of glory. And I lay myself on the altar of your Lord. Take me. Love me. I'm yours. Make me born again. Brethren, if you said that prayer. Amen. That's not only my wife singing her praise in the back. Woo! I am praising your name. But most important, the angels Hallelujah. of heaven are singing your name yes, before yes, yes. the throne of God. Brethren, any delusions you had are gone. They are realities. You are that star. You are that beacon of light that bring others into the Lord, into the Lord's works, into the Lord's faith, into the Lord's army. For yes, faith Lord. without works is dead. Amen. So let's get ourselves in prayer. As my wife says, and you'll be hearing a lot more from her, the practice and the art of neology. God is going to instruct you how to pray. God is going to send people to, in your life to teach you the living word of God like Anita had and I had. But receive it. Don't be prideful because pride is cancer. Yes. And that cancer.